wartime love story. It happens to have occurred a hundred years ago during the Great War. But I think it has relevance to today with so many Americans serving abroad and communicating with their loved ones back home. Well, the basis of the story is really the letters that Quentin and Flora exchanged with each other, beginning when Quentin was a freshman at Harvard, and of course right up until uh, his death. These letters are the window on their relationship, uh, the love that they felt for each other, the agony of separation, and it became uh, the key to the story that we're telling in the book. I have found just uh, amazing reception uh, wherever I go to this story because it's a universal story. It's a story we can relate to today. And people are saying to me, Chip, you got to make a movie out of this story because it is so timeless and it has all the elements of what would go into a good movie. While this fundamentally is a love story, a wartime love story, about a third of the book uh, concerns Quentin and Flora growing up at the ebb of the Gilded Age, and in particular, the nine years that Quentin spent growing up in the White House while his father was president. And I think Quentin has become a symbol of the American armed forces that came to France's rescue, both in World War I and World War II. He is the American who came to help when others did not help, and in the course of helping, made the ultimate sacrifice.